All right, time to cut out all the pilot and clean them all up. Using a brand new X-Acto knife is the way to go here. Look close, there's a lot of detail. It's our right stick, we've got the stick in hand, and it's our left side, our throttle. Take a look at your own arm, and then kind of shape it. All right, let's clean up the torso here. All these little nipples are for the air to escape while the foam parts are being manufactured. Get the pilot's head. Most of your detail is going to come from the painting, so we just want to clean up the seam lines and smooth out all the nipples. Be easy on that visor. All right, let's clean up our ejection seat also. All right, let's glue the arms on the torso here. So our right side, our stick side. And our throttle side. This is a nice lightweight pilot here. All right, working quickly with the five minute epoxy. Let's glue that portion on. Set him in the seat, or in the cockpit rather, and fit him in there and check out his arms out of position and let him dry. There we go. Use a little spackle, lightweight spackle fill up your seam lines. Get yourself a 256 wire and kind of spread it in there. It works real nice. And we want to fill all the voids in the pilot's head, of course. Pay attention to that visor because we want a nice clear shiny visor. Look at there, he's looking good. Just kind of wipe him down now. With a nice little wet towel. He'll smooth right out. And right, we're going to smear a little spackle on the seat here too. Using a sponge, just kind of wipe it in there. That'll fill all the voids. When you're done, you're going to have some nice parts if you follow these directions like I know you will. All right. Let's drill out that mask area. Okay, drill out 3 16 And do the same thing to the chest there. Put the pilot, the seat, and the head on the little 256 scrap wires as we're going to dip these pilots. We're going to get them all smoothed out. 100% acrylic primer mixed down to about a 60-40 ratio. 60 being the paint, 40 water. We're just going to fondue these things. You do this three separate times, drying in between each time. And then the pilot, the body, and the seat will just come alive. The shapes will be real smooth and real nice. And you'll paint this lighter and it's going to be one of the nicest cockpits you'll ever have. Okay, get all your parts for carbon fiber. You got your wings, elevators, vertical, and the fuselage, and the exhaust. All right, make marks where your wing levelers are. There's your wing levelers. Now those were put there to ensure you a nice straight wing. You got four degrees of washout on this. If all the levelers are touching on a level table, your wing is straight. And you got to straighten it out and feel it out before you do any carbon fibering. All right, once you're satisfied, rip off a bunch of strips of carbon fiber, 
and get ready for carbon fiber time. We're going to lock these wings in using Z epoxy, thin down with denatured alcohol. About a milk consistency, about a 60 40 ratio. Mix that all up. We're going to brush that on. This is going to lock the foam and the carbon fiber at the same time. Just brush a little in the grooves on both sides. And just simply lay carbon fiber in there and cut it. Run to the next one. And simply cut it. Once this carbon fiber is in, you can pick up a small car with this wing. All right, once we got them all laid in, let's just spread our Z epoxy over the carbon fiber. Thinning that Z epoxy down with the alcohol gives it its strength and lightweight. That alcohol is going to mostly all evaporate away. Our real strength is coming in from the fact that the carbon fiber is made it up with that foam. So now let's do our top side and then we're going to weight it down on all our points. All right, let's do our elevator and our vertical. Wait till this dries, you're going to love this. All right, we're going to put some on our fuselage here. Just follow the groove. We're going to tape it down in the corners here because it'll want to lift on you. And we'll put some right in the center here. Just on this section. This is where our gear doors are going to be. And for a little safety of that intake, Let's put one right there. All right, our hands get a little sticky, so let's get some baby powder on there on our gloves. You can get gloves from us, by the way, if you can't find them anywhere. I love them. I use them all the time. All right, let's carbon fiber in the top groove here. and tape it down where it might want to start lifting. This area definitely needs to be taped. Okay, put some where our rudder is going to get its strength from. Alright, let's coat the entire exhaust area inside there with that Z epoxy alcohol mix. And using just a couple inch pieces of carbon fiber, just start putting them in there. Just like this, just in this manner. All right, we got two rings. This is going to be super strong, folks. We're going to coat that area in there, the fuselage, and now we're going to run the same rings all the way around in the inside. All right, everything all carbon fibered up. Wings weighted down, they're nice and straight. Okay, let's glue our nose on.
Five minute epoxy. Make sure she's straight. And we'll just tape her in place. All right, this is part of our dash here, where our HUD's going to be that round circle. We'll later fill that up with epoxy, giving you our TV screen. Okay, epoxy our starboard ECM to the fuselage. And let's put on our elevator caps. About one third to that line, the cap should come forward two thirds of the way. And tape it down. All right, our wing is nice and dry. Let's go ahead and cut our levelers off. The hacksaw blade works real nice. Okay, let's take off the fill line. All right, using that 60 grit sandpaper, let's smooth it down and then we'll flip the block over and use a 120 side. Look at that nice wing. Don't mess with that leading edge. All right, we got some spackle here. It's a lightweight spackle from Elmer's. This is patch and paint. Both of them are lightweight spackle. That's the, the name to remember. Let's spread those in their channels there, right over the carbon fiber. We're going to fill up those grooves. We're going to make this a nice, smooth wing. Just using a real lightweight spreader there nice and flexible. All right, and let's put it on the fuselage also. All Get your intake and all your seam lines there. Get a little spackle there. We're going to get our elevator caps there. Using an epoxy stick, you can get in some of those crevices you can't reach with your finger. Let's get all those seam lines and all those carbon fibers. And just kind of put your fingers together and get your elevator section there. And let's get the seam line on top. Let's get the cockpit area. There's our dash. We want that to look real nice. And let's get the seam line on our nose there. Our nose job. And the seam line on our hatch. We'll be just about whipped here. A little bit on the intake there, looking good. And for the hard to reach area, you just get yourself a stick and <laughs> okay. In our elevators, let's cover up the carbon fiber channels also. All right, let's sand it. We're going to use a, a block here and wet sanding is the key. That's the way to go here. You got to be real light though. 
is you'll cut through that spackle after it's dry. And I like to use a fan to dry all this stuff. Works real nice. It dries in a pretty short time with a fan. Okay, let's wet sand that nose area. And we'll respackle if we have to. 